And so I'm going to go through qualified retirement plans as a comparison because this is where all of America has been taught to hold their wealth. Okay? And it, I'm, I'm primarily talking about the traditional plans, not the Roth 401ks and the Roth IRAs because, you know, if you're 40 years or older, you didn't really have much of an opportunity to invest in Roths, really. Um, but like I said, this is where that we've been taught to, to build and hold our wealth. And all qualified plans beg three questions. Number one, are taxes going up in the future or are taxes going down? Up. They can change the brackets. They can change the deductions. The net rate that you pay is continually going up. I've got a 1913-1040 form that proves 100 years of tax increase. The second question all qualified plans <coughs> beg is, would you rather pay taxes on a little or a lot? The seed or the harvest? The seed. And then is a dollar worth more today or in the future? Today. today. All right, so the qualified plans violate all three of those truths. Right? Taxes are going to be higher in the future. You're going to pay taxes on a larger amount if the underlying investment is successful. I'm inclined to believe that it will be successful because you're probably doing self-directed IRAs and what have you. Right? And the reason you're probably doing that is because you feel like that you can do better than the investment advisor or guru that's 5,000 miles away. Right? And uh, you're tired of paying his fees. And then you're going to receive the dollars at distribution. Those dollars are worth less than the dollars at the time of contribution. The qualified plan violates all three of those principles. And then we're just going to take a closer look at the timeline on a qualified retirement plan. I'm beginning with an individual age 19 and a half. If he works for the next 40 years putting the money into the qualified plan, he's effectively locked up his money. Because if you try to get to it, other than certain provisions, you know, you can borrow money from the 401k, hardship withdrawals and all that, but that's the rarity. The norm is you access that capital and you're going to pay penalties right? and ordinary income. But when you reach 59 and a half, you enter into this magical 11-year period that you can take out as much as you want to, as often as you'd like, without penalties, but it's still 100% taxable at ordinary income. Then you turn 70 and a half, and, and if I illustrate you living for the next 100 years, that 30-year time period, you've entered into another period of penalties. If you don't take out the required minimum distribution each year, you're going to be penalized up to 50% of what you should have taken out but did not. So that means that 80 to 85% of the time, the individual is always in a penalty phase, 45% of all plans liquidate fully or partially prior to 59 and a half. That's a fidelity statistic. That number went up in 2010 and 11 because of hardship withdrawals. I mean, that is the lifespan of a qualified plan. And it begs a question, in my opinion, is who's it designed for? You? Your family? No, maybe Uncle Sam? Who was it designed for? Of course it was designed for Uncle Sam. It, this is nothing but a lien on a future tax. Right? That's all that is. All right. So qualified plans violate all the uses, and you give up or restrict the control, use, and liquidity of your money. Even in self-directed IRA accounts, they're getting more and more onerous in fees and expenses. 80% of the time, you're in a penalty phase, and you know, of course... The plan owner always pays the fees, right? And always takes the risk. What's new? All right, so who's been most profitable for you in your lifetime? Come on, we presented this present presentation all over the country. We've never hurt anybody. I promise you, we won't hurt you. Who's been most profitable for you in your lifetime? Help me out. You, you, it's always you, right? You're the most profitable thing you have going. Not the money manager 5,000 miles away, not the IRA administrator, it's you. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel. If you wanna learn more about infinite banking, you can watch this video next or visit our website at bankingwithlife.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.